welcome to our top five Wednesday list. Top five books that you would read by the fireplace. So it's getting cold. So she thought of the most horrible dark books that she could possibly think of. I don't know. I mean, it gets dark outside and I just get darker. Like, you know, my, my mood gets darker. I'm just like, it's cold. It's miserable. I have a fire. It's like a primal thing. Okay. Okay. So, of course, the first book on our list of books we like to read by the fire is Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and Fire. And if you want dark, it's pretty freaking dark, aka, like, The Red Wedding! Well, I mean, like, in the first one, A Game of Thrones, you, you start up at the wall and it's cold. You've got the White Walkers, which are cold, and the Starks, the North, winter's coming. Winter's coming. <laughs> My invisible sword. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think this one really requires too much explanation. It is long, so you'll be there all winter. <laughs> Look at that. By the time you're done, it'll be summer again. <laughs> oh, God. Next on our list is Historic Materials by Philip Pullman. Now, this one, it's not too dark, but it is very deep, and you have deep thoughts to get you through the winter. I, I put this on the list because they're polar bears. These series of books, I think we've talked about them, Fairly often, but they're yeah. so good, so well thought out, so well written, and they just kind of like grow with you. Yeah. You can read them over and over and over again and find something new every time. Next on our list, Winter Spell by Claire Legrand, and we did a review of this, so if you haven't seen that review, go check it out. I wore antlers. Yeah, it was last winter. It was last winter. Things went down. Yes. Um. So in this book... There is a world kind of based on the Nutcracker where you have dark fairies running around with mechanics and people drugged out of their mind. Yeah, that <laughs> book was weird. We also found out that there was like a, a short story epilogue that we read last week. Um, which was fine. Yeah. It was just basically a reunion between these two characters. And there's probably going to be a sequel, so if you want to get in on that. Winter Spell! Woohoo! Next on our list is the Fever series by Karen Moaning. Karen Marie Moaning, my friend. Yup. <laughs> Next one comes out January oh. 19th. Hashtag must read. Oh, Lord. I'm not ready. <laughs> I, like, just finished the series and it blew through it so quickly. Um, but it, it's, it's candy floss, my friend. <laughs> we did a review floss. on, I guess, the first, like, <laughs> seven books. In one video, I can link it down below. It's some of the most amazing world building you're ever gonna come across. And then just like nonsense. Nonsense everywhere. Lots of sex and yeah. <laughs> if you want like something kinda dark, there is one book that like kinda takes place in winter. It's, this is it. It's just in the winter, I feel like, you know, getting those big series is that I haven't read or must finish and just doing them like you know it just sit there sit there and read your massive big series of six plus books you don't want to go outside I don't want to go outside last on our list era the gates of hell are opening by John Connolly I love this book and okay it's not like as dark as the other ones it's kind of quirky British humor it's kind of like Douglas Adamsy like it's got that narrator Who's just and some of the best chapter titles you will ever come across. Like so one of the chapter titles is like a paragraph long, and um, yeah, it follows a little boy as he defeats the demons that are trying to take over Earth from Hell. Um, and so you've got like random demons that are just like, this is unexpectedly hard. <laughs> My favorite is there is a demon that's under his bed that's you know supposed to eat him, and he ends up befriending him. <laughs> It's, it's cute, and it's funny, and it's quirky, and it's it's a good read. Like, yeah. It's, it's fun. There's three of them, too. Y you need something after you just, like, climbed through the entirety <laughs> of the Fever series and A Song of Ice and Fire. You need, like, a refresher. And Yeah. This uh, is a good one. My favorite is the two demons who are, like, trying to take over this bar, and they're like, here, have some of this awful alcohol that nobody can drink because it just, like, kills you. <laughs> It's like poisonous. And they're like, oh, this is good. We should try and refine this. And then they <laughs> completely forget about taking over Earth. And I'm just like, yes, let's mix this beer. I like the seven dwarf performers. <laughs> they come in later on. They're, they're great. Yeah, they're the only ones who can drink the beer yeah. safely. 
Uh, there's a boy band. Like, there's so much going on in this trilogy that's, like, so much fun, and you should totally check it out. So, that was our list of books that you should probably read by the fire. We've got a weird sense of humor. So you what books do you recommend reading by the fire? Tell us about them in the comments below. And if you like our videos, subscribe, guys. See you later.